these kind of glasses in there. All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here, check it out. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming under the weather or whatever, but we got a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, uh, one of the things that I'm doing is trying to get used to the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor gas gun. This is the Palmetto State Armory 6.5 Creedmoor 20 inch barrel. The only improvements that I have made to this rifle is I've changed out the muzzle brake and I changed the trigger out to the Geisley SSAE enhanced, enhanced, SSA enhanced. Really probably didn't even need to do that. I put this uh, Veltor stock on here because we are testing out the uh, high score sled over there. And then of course we added the uh, baddest ass bipod in the entire free world, the Atlas. Uh, one of the things we're gonna do well, I'll put that thing real close. Is we're going to confirm zero at 100 yards. Now, this is my very first time using the Kestrel, and I've kind of self-taught myself. Uh, the nice thing is, is that I, I got the Elite that has the link ability, so you're able to make all the changes and everything else you need to in the uh, good old phone here. So let's do this. I've got some uh, Hornady 147 grain match. Uh, let's go ahead and check zero at 100 yards, okay? And then, uh, according to the information that we have, let's go ahead and uh, I've got a camera up there on two targets at 1,000 yards. There we go. Okay, so we just need to adjust a little bit. Just one more shot, verify. Wrong way. Okay. So, according to the Kestrel, we're going to go 9.11 mils, and we're going to hold about a 3.39 mils left. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to use this guy right here. This is the primary arms. This is our 3 to 18. This guy right here is one bad mamma jamma. This has the Athena reticle, which I think, in my mind, is probably the best reticle uh, for precision shooting out there. And, you know, with my vast experience. But I've been told by some of the best people in shooting that they're impressed with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the reticle in, in, as opposed to the turrets. Because really and truly, you need about this. You got 7 mils of elevation in the turret. You need a 20 MOA uh, turret uh, scope mount. So we're going to go... 9.011. Let's shoot at the one on the right. We got a tailwind coming at us. Uh, here we go. Ah. All right, hold left. The hell over. Okay, we hit it. Do the one on the left side, Ty. Ah, bad under. Is that it? All right, that's uh, our round. Let's pop four more right there. Let's go five. Anyway, you can see the elevation is real good. 0.39 mils hold left. Uh, I'm holding the left side shoulder of the uh, disc. Those are, uh, I think, 18 inch disc up there.
I hit it? No, I don't know if I did or not. Let's try that bottle. Ah, alright. I'm all over it. <laughs> well, I'm getting an average of uh, 26, 13 feet per second out of this thing. Not bad. I would like to get a little bit faster, but uh, it is what it is. Now, this firearm's 20 inch barrel, and we're getting ready to build like the, the mother of all uh, gas guns, and it's a built gun. The, uh, this rifle right here, I've actually seen this, the, the, well, one just like it. And we were shooting out at Wyoming, and I, I hit on my second shot a one mile target. Uh, it was 18 by 36 inches, I believe, and then uh, I personally witnessed about 12 other people do it at the same time. Pretty cool. Go ahead and try this one more time. Right side target. Low. There we go. Left side target. Got her now. So what I'm gonna do? There's a bottle hanging up there. I just think it'd be kind of cool to hit that. Hit that. Especially with a PSA rifle. A lot of people talk down about PSA, but let me tell you something. These guys have got it going on. This thing's a little bit overgassed. I probably should tune it down a tad. Go back for the big one. Yeah. All right. That's all we got for the day. A lot of fun. This is going to be an adventure. Uh, there's the baseline. Today is hardly any wind. We've got a really nice scope on this thing. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that uh, super duper. Uh, I don't know. We've got to figure out a name for it. But when we get done with it, uh, we'll vote on a name. Anyway, that's it. Uh, first time using this guy right here. <laughs> 9.12 mils holdover on it now. It's amazing how the environmentals change up and then you got to go from one to the other. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of an intro. PSA, Palmetto State Armory. We've got a lot of cool things going on. It's Code Boy 32. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Oh, I'm getting sick. Hey.